In this video, I am going to explain you about the basic setup of zones in Reds. The zones is basically used for choose a country or in this case if you want to categorize your Reds. When you create a new zone, it will have just enable and disable options and you can set up your name and country. All the countries you will find it here whatever available in the Shopify so whenever you go for new zones then you must have a zone with the same country in your Shopify default settings example here I am creating one international zone that is stands for United Kingdom then you will have a new zone in your Shopify default setting as well. And please make sure to create a rate which provided by application. At the checkout, if you still do not find your new added country, then go to your default Shopify settings and markets and enable the country for that new shipping. You can now see two countries. Next thing is about the add rate in the application. In application we have lot more features in a rate. So it's hard to explain about all the features. So I will explain you the basic features of the rate and I will create separate video for each section in this application. Option for enable the rate, uh, set up the rate title. This rate name will be visible at checkout and to the customer. And please make sure to uh, use the unique service code if you have, otherwise leave blank. Service code mostly used for whose order are synchronized with third party fulfillment service. Base price, whatever you can set. And the next section is from ship from location. If you have multiple location shipping and you want separate shipping from each location to its destination then you can uncheck this all location and set up rates for separate by each location. Next thing is schedule a rate. In case if you have some shipping promotion like you want to display on specific day only then you can set a start time and end time. So this rate will be visible at checkout on your store time on specific start and end date. Next big section is about the condition. If you have shipping display for specific conditions like example shipping rate to be display if cart quantity greater than x or less than y and we have too many options i will explain you with details or example in separate video as well here i set weight greater than equal to 2 kilogram so this rate will be only visible at the checkout if card total greater than 2 kilogram you can add multiple condition as well and all means all condition must be satisfied and it means one of them should be satisfied and not all means none of these condition should be satisfied then rate will be visible. Here I select all and choose one. Next section is about zip code. If you have any country which has a state then you will see a state option as well. Here 
I have another zone with country India which has states. So I can choose one of the states. The main thing of use state with exclude zip code option. So if you ship to some specific zip codes only and not for this zip code but rest of the entire state like if the zip code is 345001 the rest of the zip codes will be allowed for this rate and if you have shipping rates for only for this zip code then you can select include and even all works as well because entire country has a unique zip code now come to the main dates which we are going to set up here is the zone for united kingdom and the zip code patterns of the uk is like l eight star so all the zip codes starting with l eight can be used this shipping rate you can add multiple zip codes like bb star b three star a b 31 star if you have country which has only number zip codes then you can enter range base as well you can exit match as well Next big section in this rate we have a uh, base on the card. So if you have incremental shipping rates or we can say surcharge like by every kilogram or by every weight of unit you will have X amount your weight or then you can set up like this. So 10 rupees for every 5 kilograms. So formula is like every 5 kilogram in the cart it will have at 10 rupees plus the base price. In this section we have two sub option divide by each unit and surcharge by add every more than unit. So 5 kilograms will be uh, divided five by cart value. If you have choose divide by each unit means the price total divided by weight and calculate for one unit price so in this case we have example of 10 rupees divided by 5 weights equal to 2 for so every one kilogram the price is 2 rupees if cart value is 12 kg then price of the shipping rate will be 24 calculation plus base price and if you choose surcharge add by every more than unit so every 5 kilogram cart will be increased by 10 rupees of shipping. So in this case we have 12 kg. So 5 kilogram plus 5 kilogram plus 12 is more than third unit. So 10 plus 10 plus 10 equal to 30 rupees plus base rate of shipping cost. You can set up minimum shipping cost as well like if you want. Uh, 15 rupees for the minimum cost and 100 as a maximum charge price so whatever calculation it will calculate maximum charge of shipping cost shipping surcharge count from this means the cart value must have minimum of 10 kilograms less than 10 kilograms it will not apply the shipping charge will be must apply if cart value is more than 10 kilogram for first 10 kilogram it will be kind of a free or another rate and more than 10 kilograms the starting shipping cost from 10. I will create another video of shipping surcharge to explain all these things with example. Another big section is for price tire. You can set up tire with different value like order weight, quantity, distance and price. Like if we set by weight, 
an air tire from 0 to 10 kg the base value is 20 from 10.01 to 20 the base value 30 in this case if tire do not found the cart value the default base price will be selected that is at setup at top here we have two sub options that is base price and surcharge price if you choose base price then base price will be replaced in the formula if you choose sur surcharge price then this price will be replaced by the surcharge option if you do not have this base on card then you will not have a sub option so simple in this case more than 20 kilogram the base rate of this shipping rate is 10 next option is exclude rate for the products these options help you to reduce specific products weight quantity or price in surcharge or remove condition like if you have heavyweight items and you don't want to show with this rate and if the selected remove rate and this item in the cart this rate will not appear at checkout we have another big section that is rate modifier i will explain you in this another video as well here let me set up a basic one that is free if order price greater than 500 percentage decrease 100 that means free shipping will be applied this rate will be automatically converted into free if this scenario match the merge rate will have another video for that you can merge the rate blend at the rate combine the rate with these things of product rate last section of the send another rate means if you have a standard shipping and express shipping the same of standard shipping can be displayed at the top and you can set up express shipping next the delivery is the description you can increase with above calculation price by fix percentage or static value as well let me set fix by 50 rupees increase and decrease option as well and let's save and see at checkout so here I have item in the cart with United Kingdom zip code and I can see two shipping cost if I do not have any zip code matching with our condition it will not display and gives any error because I don't have any other rates if I uncheck the another rate and I can see only one base rate I hope you will find the basic setup scenario of the shipping rates for each section detailed videos I will upload later thank you